Here's a demonstration of using the Q173 gate math module with a simple little drum machine like this. This drum machine has inputs for triggers in the back for the kick and the snare and all the toms. And so we're just going to patch that directly into the outputs of the Q173 and then we're going to select drum patterns and we're going to listen to that. So our output is going to be right there. And these will be our inputs from the Q173. And the first one will be our hi-hats are down here. Let's patch this through a VCA so we can control it. And then we can turn that off. And our kick drum is going to be number three. That's how the drum patterns are programmed. And the snare will be number two. And our miscellaneous tom will be on channel four. Set this down. Okay, we don't have an external source of gate input, so this will become our internal clock. This will control our speed right here. program some drum patterns and there's a couple of different patterns that are pre-programmed in here. And you can play around with them. And you can also put in just normal divisions. Let's go over here and let's program this with, let's just go to simple mode. Now simple mode is uh, divide by 2, divide by 4, divide by 8, and divide by 16. That's a pretty good drum beat. Uh, but we can add other things. Let's go into, uh, let's uh, go to divide by 2 for the first one, which is the hats. Let's go divide by 4 on the snare. And let's do a divide by six on the kick drum. Let's take out the toms to make this simpler to understand. Okay, so that's divide by two, divide by four, and divide by six. We can even filter this if we want to. Let's go through the low pass filter. Some other patterns. Let's get some unusual patterns here. Here's a 1.5 on the snare. And there's 2.5 on the snare. And uh, let's go 5 by 1 on the hi hat. Do like 16 notes and divide by two on the snare and let's see no divide by two that we can use for drums also. Uh, 
you look in the user guide, you'll see the pattern section has many different patterns you can use. We're using this one for bass. use the sequence settings. So you can have a lot of fun with this just using the outputs to trigger an external drum machine.